Michelle Baldwin. Good evening. My name is Michelle Baldwin. My address is on file. I am a kindergarten teacher in this amazing division. I love my students. I love my school and my job. But kindergarten is a heavy lift. <laughs> I would like to explain some of the difficulties of large kindergarten classes and explain the testing demands placed on these young students as they begin school. Our kindergarten class max is 29 students. These young students need help with so many things as they start school. Behaviors, letters, numbers, learning to write, learning to read, oral language, regulating emotions, using tools like scissors and computers, right? They, uh, these new, new students need so much help to learn how to be at school. Kindergarten is foundational. Large class sizes make teaching these skills very difficult because they all need so much help. I have a small table in the back of my classroom. It's supposed to be a small group teaching table, but it's really just been a testing table for the entire first quarter. Did you know that almost all kindergarten testing is given one-on-one? -on -one? I call my students back one at a time to ask them testing questions. I can't pass out a test for everybody to complete simultaneously. Large class sizes make one-on-one -on -one testing extremely time-consuming. First quarter testing for kindergartners included 100 and 84 questions for each of my up to 29 students. We have lost almost two months of small group teaching time to testing. Should a five-year-old be asked 184 questions when they just start school? I've been testing at every free moment for eight weeks and I'm still not finished for report cards. I know I'm a professional ed educator and I know I have to give assessments, but 184 questions to students who are just entering school when I'm back testing, students try to do centers, but they need me on the floor guiding them and helping them. Here's a true story for you from a kindergarten classroom. I have a fun literacy center where kids dig through a large container of rice to find magnet letters, and then they match them on their alphabet chart. So I'm back in the back table testing, and I look up to see a child throwing the rice like confetti. They're five years old, right? They, they need help and guidance to learn to be successful at school. They don't come to us independent and successful. Pulling classroom teachers to sit at back tables to test for a solid two months is detrimental to students learning the routines of the classroom. In closing, I encourage the board respectfully to lower the max class size for kindergarten and decrease testing demands on these very young students. Can we find some middle ground between the preschool max size of 20 and the first grade max size of 30? I know Title I is maxed at 22. I would love to see the district cap all kindergarten classrooms at 22 students. Lower class sizes and less testing will lead to stronger students for years to come. Thank you. Brent Freeze.